The following demonstration will be an activity to begin building an employee app flow using the step element. In this activity, you will learn how to insert an image, insert a link, and create an iframe. Last but not least, you will also learn how to create an outcome and then publish and run your flow so that it will render as an app. Now on the Home tab Flows page, we're going to click on the Plus New Flow button. Then for the authentication, we're going to leave this blank so that we can create a publicly accessible flow. We're going to click on Continue. And then in the name text box for the new flow, we're going to enter the words BoomiFlow hyphen employee app. And then we can click on Start Building. Then we'll expand the element toolbar on the left hand side of the screen or the build canvas. We're going to drag a step element to the right of the start element on the build canvas. Here we can use the dotted red lines to align our step element with our start element. When you let go of the step element to the canvas, the step element window will open on the right hand side of the screen. Then in the name text box, we're going to enter Welcome to Del Boomi. From here, you can click on the Insert Edit Image icon. And then what we'll want to do, since we're going to insert an image into our step element, is create a folder for this image in our computer drive. So you'll just want to open your computer drive up. And then you can create a new folder on your desktop by clicking on Desktop. And then create a new folder. And we're going to name this new folder Boomi Flow Images. Now you should see your new folder created on your desktop. Then select your new folder that you've created on your desktop. Now we can see that the folder is empty. We want to return to our web browser and open a new web browser tab. And then in the search bar for Google, we're going to enter the words Del Boomi logo. And then click on the images. And then here we can select one of the images here by clicking on it. And then we'll just want to right click, click on Save Image As. Then we want to open up our BoomiFlow Images folder by clicking on Desktop. Here we see our BoomiFlow Images folder. Make sure that's selected. And we're just going to name this file Del Boomi Logo. And then click on Save. Now you should be able to close your web browser return into your platform and click on the magnifying glass and folder icon here in the insert edit image window. Then you'll want to click in the drop files here or click to select files box in the asset manager window. This should open up your computer drive and here we are with our image. We can see our Dobumi logo image so we're going to select that image, click on open, and then the Del Boomi logo has been successfully uploaded. Then we'll click on the hyperlink for the image. And here you should see a preview in the right hand corner of your asset manager window. Click on insert asset. And then we're going to name this image Del Boomi logo here in the image description. Then for the dimensions, we're going to enter in the number 150. Depending on the image that you've selected, the dimensions will be different. It could be 45 as is shown in your activity guide, or it could be a different value based on the dimensions that are associated with your image. Then you're just going to click on OK. And then now we see the image here in our content editor window. We can click to the right of the image with our cursor, then we'll press the enter key. Then we just want to enter the text, welcome to the Boomi Flow team with an exclamation point, we'll press enter. Then we'll highlight the text, click on the format dropdown, and select blocks, heading two. This will change the text to a heading two format. Place your cursor at the end of the line of text, and then press the enter key. And then here you can click on the dropdown for view, and view the source code for this content editor or step element. And here you can see the code that is shown is in HTML code format. You can just click on OK to close this. And we want to make sure that our cursor is down below this text here. So we're going to click on the Insert Edit Link icon. And then in the URL text box, we're going to enter https colon forward slash forward slash boomy.com forward slash platform forward slash flow forward slash. 
For the text to display, we're going to highlight the text that's been shown here and put in Boomi Flow website. And we can copy and paste that text and place it in the title text box as well. Then for the target dropdown, we want to select New Window. Then click on the OK button. And here we should see our Boomi Flow website link now shown in the content editor for our step element. We're just going to press the Enter key to drop down an additional line. Then we can click on the View dropdown again. We're going to click on Source Code. If you'd like, you can remove one of the spaces here, which is shown here. And you're going to copy and paste some text from your activity guide, which is at number 44 for this second activity. So you'll just copy and paste the text here. And that text will appear as such. Then click on the OK button. And what you'll have created is an iframe in your step element. So you'll be seeing an iframe for the Boomi Flow website here now. So then just click on the Save Step button. And then we're going to create an outcome from our start element to our Welcome to Dell Boomi step element. By hovering over the start element, you'll see that your cursor becomes a cross arrow cursor. And then as you progress towards the middle of the element, it will become a hand. You're just going to drag and drop from the start element to the step element, creating that green dotted line. When you release your click, the outcome for start will open. And here in the name text box, we're just going to enter the word go. Click Save Outcome. Here we can see that we've created a go outcome for our start element to our step element. And this outcome essentially just kicks off our flow and creates it as an app. So we want to click on the publish icon here. And then the publish flow window will open and we're going to enter the text here. Boomi flow hyphen employee app hyphen step element. And then click on the publish button. And you'll see the message that your flow has been published successfully and this URL here can be shared to share your flow. We'll just click on Run. A new browser should be created and you should see your app running in this new browser. So here we can see the step element created for the start of our Boomi Flow app. Test to see that everything is working properly by clicking on the Flow website. And a new window should open with your Boomi Flow website opening. And if we toggle between browsers, we can see that our app is displaying the same look into the Boomi Flow website, and this is also clickable within this iframe. You can click on the browser to close it, and the additional browser, and return to the Boomi Flow platform, and then close your published flow window. And then that brings us to the end of Activity 2. Now please allow yourself 20 minutes or so to complete the activity using the activity guide and referencing pages 11 through 29.